I'm available. <laughs> Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Just about everything that could go wrong today has gone wrong for me, my love. So tonight, mummy doesn't care. <laughs> so, my lovelies, I think it is time for another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling <laughs> Tonight, I thought it was the finale. No, I don't know how I've done this, but apparently there is another episode before... The final. I don't know what we're gonna see today, my loves. I say this every time, but it's like every episode gets stranger and stranger and stranger. Last time we saw Janice Dickinson potentially fail, fail, is that the word? Potentially lie about an eye injury. Now the idea that she actually said in that video, so I caught this when I was editing it. She said, I think I've scratched my retina. Do you know how like viscerally deep you would have to go inside your eye to scratch the retina? It would be too much for Susan. She'd instantly demonetize me. I've done something a little bit different with my makeup today and I'm not sure I like it, you know. I suppose you shouldn't really test out new things on camera, but here we are. You have to learn someday, don't you? 16 years in the business and still learning. <laughs> I genuinely think I'm actually allergic to making videos because every time I sit down in front of this camera, my eye is like, weep, weep for the children, the fallen children. And it's just like I haven't had an eye problem all day. I now sit here and my eye is like uh -huh, uh -huh, my husband. Interestingly enough there was actually a quote that Janice said in the last episode that was something like eat your heart out Tyra. Something like this and you guys clock this. This very much feels like a Janice Dickinson expose that's all about her and not about her models in a way to kind of solidify her as the top model of America, perhaps the world. And I feel like this is in direct competition to America's Next Top Model. That's just how I feel. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. But today, my loves, get your beverages at the ready. Put your ahanga in and let's watch Janice Dickinson's Modeling <laughs> Series 1, Episode 8. Tonight. Hey, welcome. Virgin Records has a fashion show. Virgin Records. And they want JD models. Tony's rocking. Marcus is genius. But from the beginning. You had the models get here at 10.30 in the morning, and now you're doing your one celebrity client. That's not cool. Janice and the producer have a battle of vision. I don't love it. Oh. I don't want to ruin it. I, love it. I don't want to ruin it. So Janice will destroy convention. I need a real drag queen. Where do I am? To teach the models how to walk. To prepare her models. You have to take your clothes off. But not everyone is on her page. Oh, the whole belly dance experience, I'm not getting it. Stepping onto the runway. What is happening? The models will be caught. Bye, models. There was Claudia. In a clash of artistic passion. Oh my god. I'm going to do what Nikki wants me to do, or if I'm going to walk down the runway how Janice wants me to. Which threatens to derail the entire fashion show. This isn't a fashion show. Tonight on the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. Oh my goodness. Right, okay, first of all, we just have to talk about that intro there because how unprofessional does Janice come across? Every time she's like involved in actually doing something in the fashion industry, she's just like, no, no, do it how I want you to do it. I know. I was the world's first supermodel. And it's like, oh my God, you can't argue with your producer of a fashion show. Like, that's your client. But also, how weird is it that... that Every single, like, fashion thing that they've done in this show has not been, like, French Vogue or whatever. It's been 1-800-DENTISTS, duh. In fact, that's all I can really remember right now because that was the last episode we saw. Now now they're working for, for Virgin Records? Where is the fashion in Virgin Records? Like, what, what are they hoping for? Are they just going to, like, show off... What? What are they going to show off? There's no fashion associated with Virgin Records. Is that unless they're talking about like merch or something? I never, I never, never, never understand exactly what it is that we're going to see in each episode. As I said earlier, every episode gets stranger and stranger. So, all right, let's see Janice Dickinson's Virgin Media Records fashion agency runway department argument. I got gown. Oh, what a horrible photo shoot. The Janice Dickinson modeling. Oh, breast. Oh, she's a woman down the street. She's also a horrible person on the runway. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. Since we've officially opened the doors to the agency, why is like eight weeks ago. To to us? Oh, There's yes, of course. A lot about this agency. Hey, welcome. Welcome, Except welcome, you've welcome. destroyed Chip all Dorsh, reputation. She does all the marketing for the Virgin megastores throughout Southern California. Has right. asked to meet with me in regards to possibly using our models to launch their new clothing line. Okay, so this woman is actually like a big deal in the business industry. Do we think that this is going to just be like a... 
a bit of fabricated drama for the show or do you actually genuinely think that Janice is just bonkers, completely bonkers? Today, Chip along with Nikki are coming in to see which of our models will be part of the Virgin Fashion Show. Right. Nikki Shadrow runs fashion shows. She puts them together. She's the project coordinator. Look at She's that filter. Look at that filter on Janice. You could not possibly see a single piece of information about Janice except that she has brown hair. <laughs> Have you been? What's going on? Tell us about the What's show. The What's the tea? A dead body. What do we need to know? Basically, the fashion show is to introduce to the world that Virgin is now carrying fashion. Oh. Virgin Megastore is launching its very first rock and roll inspired fashion campaign called oh. Girls Rock. And we have asked Girls the Janice rock. Some models to take part in showcasing the clothing in a runway. Oh, well, I should eat my own gusset, shouldn't I? Isn't there just egg on my tits? <laughs> because I didn't realise that Virgin did fashion. Although, do Virgin Megastores even exist anymore? I feel like this they went out of business a while back. Let me have a little... I'm going to have a little Google. Uh... Aha, by 2015, current operations are exclusively in the Middle East and North Africa, consisting of 40 stores. So the ones in Oxford Street have closed. Uh, it's a shame. It was kind of like a staple of the music industry. We're expecting a ton of press and lots of Virgin VIPs to attend the show. And we thought, who better to promote and bring attention to the clothing than Janice? Um, Who is saying in this? In a nutshell. Who is saying that? On no one was speaking. And immediately following what was the that? Show, that's really Did you see that was a weird editing choice then? No one was speaking, but there was like overlaid. Like these two people were clearly overlaid speaking, but Janice was just like. And they were like. Whilst like clearly miming whatever was just put over the top there. That was really weird. We need to watch this again. Look, watch this. We thought who better to promote and bring attention to the clothing than Janice. Who is speaking? Um, who is speaking? The fashion panel and the cocktail reception. Then immediately following will be the fashion Maybe it's show. Just That's for you guys voiceover. We requested originally and we're still sticking with this. Five girls, six guys. Want to see the models? Ooh. Sure. Let's see the models. Let's sure. see the models, girls. Oh. Yeah, oh. There's a model. That's hot. That's the Claudia. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Claudia and Serene should become a lovely couple. <laughs> oh. Oh, there she is, the lady she found he's last like time. Working it even when he's standing still. Well, you could do it in heels too. Yeah. Mm, okay. Do you like to dance? Yes, I do. Da 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 da. Oh, thank you very much. So, clients, okay. what are we gonna do? Tony's rocking. Marcus is genius. Andrew Fitzgerald. Nikki wanted one last look at the guys she had chosen for the fashion show. Ooh. Very good choices. Is this took I'm all day, I'm guessing. They actually chose me as one of the six models to be in. Once again, Serene the is not there. Mega store fashion show, wow, look at your hair. That is so MySpace 2009. I bet you a GHD on 230 degrees Celsius or 450 Fahrenheit has been used on that hair. No, thank you. Wow, that is a real throwback hairstyle. No volume at all. The Virgin Megastore Fashion Show, which I'm crazy excited about. It is Very quite a big deal, I guess. All of you. All right. Yeah. Serena's getting no nothing from here. Oh, come on, Claudia. Pick Claudia. Very, very well. When I call your name, just step forward. Christina. Nia Bell. Susan the way definitely helped me book the Virgin Show. A lot of girls wanted to get that show, but I was one of the girls who got it. To be a model, to be on top, you have to be on look the part. You couldn't have mic'd her up better. No one could have mic'd her up better. She's got a gorgeous little speaking voice and I can't hear a single word she's saying because they've decided to put her into an interview outside by a windy tree. Are you taking the pace? Let's try and listen to her again, shall we? Book the budget show. A lot of girls wanted to get that show, but I was one of the girls who got it. To be a model and to be on top, you have to be on look the part and walk the walk. So losing weight for me was very important. Claudia. Losing, oh, losing weight. Ow! Yay! I have heard that Richard Branson has a thing for the dolls. <laughs> Please don't sue me for defamation. <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just overnight became wed to a billionaire? So losing weight for me was very important. Losing Claudia. weight. I am so, so ecstatic. You know, the whole transsexual thing, of course it's rough not knowing if you're gonna get work, but well, I'm a legit model now. Fargo? Only taken a million Brittany. years. Emily. There you go. And Wally is. Every time Claudia's mentioned, they're gonna be like, transsexual! It's really hard getting rejected, especially in this industry where it's based off your look, but it's a reality and you have to keep going and move on. I wanna say something right now. Oh. 
and I mean all of this. Congratulations for the picks. Virgin seemed happy with the models they chose today, and I really hope to keep them for a client for many years to come. And okay. I think it's a really, really important stepping stone for our models' careers. That's yes. It. Right. I need models that are runway ready, and my right. kids aren't there yet. I'm really worried that the kids won't be able to walk in the Virgin Mexico oh, filter show, which I promised and guaranteed and assured that they would. Most of you look like you're, you're walking corpses. You have to be able to walk. I need to get a real drag queen to teach the models how to a walk. A real drag queen, as opposed to a fake one. Oh, come on. Oh, Is that Nicole? Is no, I'm no. I'm Brooks, and we are female impersonators. Oh. We were Phoenix! We by Janice to help the Phoenix! Models. Oh. I'm Megan Brooks, and we are female impersonators. It's Phoenix! Phoenix from season three of Drag Race. Oh, lovely to see. Lovely to see. So I wonder if this is, is like Phoenix, to compete with Miss J. Brooks, and we are female impersonators. Miss J Alexander. We were called today by Janice to help the models get better on the runway with their walks. Yes! Yes! I was a little surprised that Janice chose drag queens just because, in my opinion, their walks tend to be a little over the top. Well, that's kind of fashion queens. queens. I was thinking to myself, how in the hell two men in girls' clothing is going to perfect my walk? I want all of you to listen! Go! Oh, this could be problematic, couldn't it? The last time to just be like, wham, here I am. Don't get me wrong, they knew how to walk for women. The thing that I don't get is how can a man learn from a drag queen how to walk like a man? It doesn't make sense. It just, it doesn't add up. Why not? I have never seen a drag queen in Alaska before. Ever. <laughs> so. They strutted it better than almost any girl there. They knew what they were doing. Go, right. DJ, go. Okay. No, no, no. If that ever happens, go back. If one model bumps into another model, don't make the, oh, I'm sorry, look. Just keep the face because the cameras are at the end of the runway. So you don't want to walk down the runway and go, you don't want to do that. That's probably the best piece of advice she's given all season. The person that has helped me the most. Wow, look at that collar. Because he's got some experience and he's probably one of the best walkers in the agency. John um. is a great walker. Billy, learn from John. Go, Johnny. Janice pulled me out in front of everybody, got out there, did my thing, and she actually had me start. I wonder what you're doing now. She thought it was perfect, and you know, I don't need to do anything, which is great to hear from Janice. You know, she's my agent. It's good to have some pride in your talent. That's there you very go. true. You see that eye contact, Billy? You see how his shoulders are straight back? Who's this man? Where have you come from? Off because none of us guys were doing it properly, so she brought the female impersonators to show us a little bit about it. I don't know where she dragged them off the streets from, but I just thought it was a waste of time. Oh, for goodness the sake, stop being so hateful. Good progress with the models, so I thought it was time to get the Belly Twins to start loosening them up. Has this ever I'm happened? I'm Nina. I'm Vina. And we're with the, the Belly, belly Twins. The belly twins. We were invited to come here to help the models loosen up and really get into their bodies. I mean, okay, all right. Shut yeah, up, is this... <laughs> That's not the point. I just want you to understand that the dancers are here to teach you how to move your hips. This flat ass of yours has to move like this. Not white dancing, not bra, no, this is not a joke. I take this off, okay? I feel like you all are in your Sunday sundresses. You have to take your clothes off. You have to put on a bra and an underwear. We need to see skin. You have to be able to see it move and belly dance. Take your pants off. Take off your pants. I don't care if you don't have the underwear on or a bathing suit. You, you better you better follow directions or you're fired. Coming up. That is absolutely disgraceful. That is absolutely disgraceful. I cannot believe we've just watched that. Janice has just told that girl. That young girl who's under 21, I think she was 18 years old, first modeling job, probably first time ever on TV, she has to take her trousers off and she doesn't care if she hasn't got underwear on. That is absolutely disgusting. Janice needs to take several seats and think about like, what kind of a cruel person she is. You can't just say that to people on TV. How vile is that? And the fact that no one stepped in and said, actually Janice, we can't sign off on that. God, that was a lot, wasn't it? Okay. What if is this section? Two right. belly dancers helping my models become okay. more comfortable with their bodies. And part of that is not being afraid to drop trout, take your clothes up for the job. But some of my models were giving me attitude. Take your shirts off and get over there and belly dance. It's because all you want to do is just literally look at people naked. And belly dance. <laughs> drop the trout. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time to blur everything. Pantaloons. Tootsies. Buttocks. What, what is happening? I guess um, Janice wanted us to be comfortable with our bodies, to show as much skin as possible, which makes sense. You know, you got, you're got not going to have a good runway walk unless you're comfortable with your body. Well, that looks good. <laughs> and they're having so much fun. I don't get it. I need I an adult. I'm not getting it. You know, yes. Janice feels that this is some way going to like awaken the inner chi of these models and that they're going to become great walkers. You are a professional <laughs> booker. What are you doing here? Stiff. They get down and they walk like this. No, just keep the, sh the shoulders square and up. You don't and, get it, though, you know. but it's all in the body, baby. I think the best thing for these models is to actually see runway shows. Yes! And see what the designers are looking for. Yes! I don't see, you know, how the belly dancing would apply. This man is clearly the brains behind the entire business because he's actually worked in the industry. I feel like Janice at this point hasn't even worked in the industry. She's just, like, coasted through. It's so weird. It's so weird. This guy is the only one speaking sense, and everybody else is like, no, he's clear deranged it's like yes one of the best ways to learn how to runway walk is to watch previous runway shows and actually see how the designer has created garments for a specific type of walk for a specific kind of show especially for runway anyway what is happening janice dickinson's you know, asylum agency would apply directly to the runway i just don't want them to overthink it i don't want them to get overwhelmed with everything. this is giving people the wrong idea i want, I want them to overwhelm because they're not understanding the translation okay you don't you, get it either you Janice, no, right, okay, now what? The Kaye Boutique. Wow, this is such a cute story, Nikki. What's up, Janice Dickinson? Today, I brought my models to the Cage Boutique, where Cage? we're having a fitting for the Virgin Fashion Show. Okay, right. Thank you for setting that... this up for our models today. Anything for you. I'm Nikki Shadro. I am the producer and the stylist of the Girls Rock Fashion Show. So you're the one in charge. Here's the plan. I'm, I'm doing a fitting right now with Amy Lynn Chadwick inside the fitting. Hi. I just have Ooh. to finish with her. That's the problem. Well, then why don't we all leave and come back another day when you, you've done all your PPR? No, your this was that she was supposed to come. Then you guys were supposed to come. It's You just showed up. At this no, I didn't on. just show up. I know. I'm mm -hmm. happy that you're here. I'm on a schedule. I know. So are we. I've got 60 models out there. Hurry up or we leave. You had the models get here at 10.30 in the morning and, you, and now you're right. doing, you're one celebrity client. That's not cool. I, you had the models here at 10.30. Can okay, you imagine? Ready, finally. All right, can we bring them in? Yeah. Because I have a bone to pick with you later. All right, that's cool. I'm ready. All right, get the, get the models. Bring it on. <laughs> this woman is the producer. Imagine speaking, imagine speaking to your boss's boss like this. Granted, okay, people should be kept on schedule, but she's just said, I don't have a schedule. I just arrive when I do, your celebrity client. And it's like, how unlikable. Just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you can just be like, I don't know. I One would even argue that because you are someone of a privileged position and of notoriety, that you should be commanding of a situation and not like a spoiled little brat, actually. I am really not liking the way Janice is this episode. Moron! This is Brittany. Hi. Hi. It's Brittany Girls. I love your hair color. Thank you. I love the yeah, Auburn. Virgin is a rock and roll brand. My vision for this show is the music's gonna be rock and roll. The outfits are gonna be rock and roll. Okay. Any goth Styling's or grunge? Rock and roll. Goth grunge, yeah. Everyone, I'm sure, has gotten them on the rock and roll. Transsexuals are rock and roll. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really fun and energetic, and I'm really excited for it. This is this a real runway though? So those two work. These are your looks. Um, I don't want her in that dress. That dress is not good for her. She looks like a sausage dress hooker that should be wo working in hooters. Awesome. No, I don't love it. I don't want her in it. I love it. I don't want her in it. My models have class and dignity. No, and they work for dentists. Some of the outfits that she was putting my models in. Not that dentists don't have class either. and dignity, but you know That's what I mean. It's not even dentists. They work for a, help the yellow shoes. pages of I dentists. Know, I, I just need one person at a time. But you maybe we're help. We're here to help you. I know, you. but it's not helping. It's making me really confused. Ugh, so one geez. at a time. She's also it in charge, Janice. Chaos today, Janice and Nikki went at it. They were basically eating each other alive. I'm I'm not not a parachute, shoes, so it's okay. Buy a pair of shoes for Nia Bell, please. I can do one at a time. She's a one person. No, Buy the shoes. With her. So ah. one at a time. It's not. It's not cool. I don't ever have an agent yelling at me like that. <gasps> Nikki, look at I did, did you hear that? I don't ever have an agent yelling at me like that. So this, either this is like a television produced moment in which Janice is kind of like forced to drive the drama up. If you were a client and saw her behaving like this, would you 
ever, would you ever be like, yeah, I really want to get involved with that. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Do you know what I mean? Never. Nikki, look at Brittany. You look hot, Brittany. I'm not gonna lie. If I was a guy, I would definitely look up that one. You don't talk to my models like that, okay? That's inappropriate talking. Okay. If you don't take control over that woman, I'm gonna slash my wrist, game. I mean, there's just no words, is there? I feel like Janice here is being like quite inappropriate. I mean, it is maybe it is a little bit inappropriate to be like, if I was a guy, I would hook up with you. But it's nowhere near as inappropriate as what Janice has done and said to people. Earlier, she just had them like fully naked gyrating against each other. And she was like, it's my vision. Oh, the music doom has arrived at the atelier. Over that woman, I'm gonna slash my wrist and I'm going to, I'm going to choke on shrimp. We were fitting oh, our models for the Virgin show. And Nikki was majorly disorganized. On top of it, we only had a few hours before the big Virgin fashion show. And half our models didn't even have their wardrobe yet. But she's the producer. We've got to move this She's in charge. Really You're not Janice. It's going too slowly. I've got about 14 guys out there and it's wow. not fair. That's why I'm a bitch. That's fabulous. I love that. Finally, I'm getting happy, but pull it down. I don't want to see any <laughs> The girls can't walk around with their vaginas hanging out. It's not a good look. Hopefully, all the looks are in place and everybody's happy with their looks and everything fits right. And when we get there, it's going to run smoothly. I am so perplexed as to what is going on. This is wild. This episode is bonkers. I do find it weird. In one way, is this? This is like a toothpick. Should be this should be back, and this should be running up here. This is like, but this is not a runway. I kind of agree. You go, girl. I was asked to MC this event and provide models. Ah. She's been asked to MC. Okay. The runway looks like a picnic table. The biggest disaster I've ever seen in my life. We need to pull out of this before we're pregnant with this disaster. Well, that's I quite a reference, isn't it? I immediately wanted to turn around and go home. <laughs> but unfortunately, I work here, so I had to stay. <laughs> As an agent and a supermodel and a photographer, I'm trying to tell you. No, I... Be right now, before the show starts, I'm here to help you. I'm not supposed to be here. Take that, move those bleachers back, and get me double or triple of what this is right now. You have to come up with it at the last minute I'm ready. if you're in charge. Okay. He's not gonna do that. We're gonna work first, slash only run first, so I hope it's gonna be damn good. So it's gonna be walk. Is the shop pose, just like open, do you think? Walk back, second pose, then walk off. So let's let's do it. This is kind of a little bit strange. This isn't actually anywhere near the runways that I have worked on, should we say. Um, definitely not as a model, though. Only as backstage makeup artist. But this... I don't know. I'm not getting, like, this is real vibes. I'm getting that this is a bit like maybe Virgin wanted a little bit of extra publicity in America. And they thought, why not go with the Janice Dickinson modeling agency? Because Janice is also with MySpace. And MySpace has the time with music. That's the vibe I'm getting here. This so is very let's, DIY. Let's this is a rock and roll show. The vibe, I want it to be on point. On point. Didn't even know we said it back then. Um. Hideous, revolting, mind-blowingly bad. Nikki Shavro has no place running a fashion show. I mean, she is in charge, but also this is not really appropriate. It's, well, I mean, it, it's what the client wants. No, don't tell her not to do that. No. Janice is not an ally, is she? She loves commanding. There's a bit of a conflict right now between what Nikki wants, who is the stylist and she's the producer of the show, and what Janice wants as our agent. I really have a decision to make. I don't know if I'm going to go out there and do, do what agents? Nikki wants me to do, yeah. which is just crazy punk rock and roll, or if I'm going to walk down the runway how Janice wants me to. Does, do agents usually have a say? Strippers, Nikki. They're elegant supermodels, not pole f***ing dancers. Someone louder than life that won't shut the hell up while I try to do a run through. So that's All not right, 
duke it out? My models aren't strippers. I know. One day I'm not gonna go out there posing. Imagine, okay. imagine. Of being quiet and respectful, she came in and started talking. Talk, talk, talk. I don't want to hear her talking. I want her to sit and look pretty since that's what she does. She's a model. That's what she should be doing. And oh. that's the example that she should be showing for her models. Oh, Sorry. Wait. Oh. It's true. Oh, Holler back, God. Bitch. Okay, currently, I, I oh, there's a bit of both here happening, which is, this feels very much like an unprofessional runway, but it also, I don't really like the way that Janice is going around uh, bringing up her questioning, her line of questioning, but also, does an agent usually do this? Why hasn't Janice just, like, pulled out completely and been like, clearly this isn't what I thought it was going to be, clearly this isn't professional, without any further words, just say, I'm sorry, the contract is cancelled. I'm very confused. What do you do successfully? Quickly. The example that she should be showing for her models. Sorry, it's true. Holler back, I bitch. I'll stick me. The... Oh. Oh. What's happening? I'll, I'll yank him right now. You want to show? Oh. So I got into large fights with Nikki throughout the day, and we butted heads because she tried to make it the Nikki show when in fact it was the Virgin Megastore opening fashion show. But you she's the producer. You don't get to be under runway and do this and lick yourself like that. The press and the world is watching you. You're elegant supermodels, okay? Just be out there and be models, okay? Thanks. She cannot tell my models to behave like exotic dancers. My models are not exotic dancers. They are models. She screwed up my fitting. She screwed up my run through. I really hope she doesn't screw up my fashion show or I'm going to have to get security. <laughs> Just cancel your contract with her. Clearly, you don't work well together. Look, the runway hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. So anything that she demanded hasn't been done. Give me a mic. Welcome to the Virgin Megastore first annual fashion show! Before the runway show, there was conflict between Nikki and Janice. I asked Janice what she wanted me to do. And I took her advice and went up there There's and one just model. strutted. Just strutted, one model my shoulders per section. everything that I learned and had fun with it. The crowd is just amazing. Well, the crowd is amazing. No one is doing anything. The crowd is just really like... I see my mom in the audience. There's a lot of photographers and cameras going off and people cheering, so I didn't get to see her. I feel no one is cheering. a basket full of emotions. Her first This is completely stage. It's really exciting. That is a horrible it's just walk. It's <laughs> such an exciting moment. I oh, wish no. my husband and son could be here to share in this. Janice is the only one screaming. And that's just because Janice screams. I love because it was the I don't give a f walk. If everyone could learn the Nia Bell walk, we'd have a great age to see. Yeah, I wasn't nervous at all because I know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do what feels right for me. The thing we did great. This is... Oh, Claudia. Janice is just like, uh. I started getting nervous right before I got on the stage, but as soon as I stepped on stage, I went away. It's like a... It, this fat type of fashion show reminds me very much of like, I don't want this to come across as sounding like rude, but there are such a things as like charity fashion shows where everything is not like, there's no, there's no money to be made in the fashion show. It's just to show off like charity shop clothing, which is absolutely fine to do. But this is exactly the vibe that I'm getting from this. It's not an elevated haute couture fashion show. This is people who don't know the fashion world trying to make a fashion show. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. But sadly at the end, the money's not going to charity. It's just, well, what is it doing? We just don't even know. The audience is just like stoic. No one's doing anything. No one's writing any notes. This is not exactly how I wanted this to go down. Um, but I love her and I'm glad that she's here. And we're totally going to hang out at the after party. We're going to have a walk off and meet her. <sighs> I don't think, I don't think. Is this the end? This is this music. I know the first Virgin Megastore show tonight gave my models confidence. It taught them how to move and groove and walk the walk of a model. I know they had fun. I could see it in their eyes. They were just 
exhausted, yet exhilarated at the same time. Is this the end? The jobs that we're getting so far are blessings for this agency. These are major, major advertisers. We're in the running with the big Look boys. Look at that tiny I runway. I up and I got my hands dirty and it's starting to pay off. It is not, Janice. It is... Is that the end? <laughs> No, it is absolutely not starting to pay off. You did not get your hands dirty. That runway was awful. Oh, right, let me get back to the center and tell you my thoughts. Push my laptop away and blah, blah. I was about to say, hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. But no, we've already done that. Okay, so let's talk about this episode, shall we? First of all, I'm so glad I got to see Claudia in this episode. I don't know where she's been this whole time, but thank goodness she got a little bit of a feature in this show. Although instantly they were like, the transsexual, th like, oh. Not every single thing mentioning Claudia has to mention that she's also transsexual. I think that's a ridiculous thing. Why? Why? Okay, let me let me let me try and formulate my brain cells to a legible outcome here. Well, that'll be the first time. <laughs> Janice hired drag queens. One was Megan Brooks and one was Phoenix to teach them how to like runway walk. I think that this was in direct contrast to how Miss J Alexander teaches runway on America's Next Top Model. And the reason why I say that is because Janice used that phrase, they need a real drag queen to show them how to walk. Why does she use the word real there? They need a real drag queen. As if there's like a fake drag queen running around teaching people how to walk that's just not really up to the scratch of drag walks. I don't know. I don't really get why that sentence was used there. Secondly, why were the belly dancers brought in? I mean, like belly dance and haute couture aren't really related very much and they don't often cross paths it's very different industries right one is like entertainment the other one is like primarily sales high fashion is primarily sales apart from maybe well ready to wear is but haute couture is more like an art exhibition i suppose i am gonna say it would have been so much better like that cody guy the booker had so much more of a like well-rounded idea of how janice should have tackled this issue what this episode could have been like is going we're gonna take these models to an actual runway and show them how to to walk. They haven't done that at all. They've just kind of like, I don't even know what they've done. They didn't really bring any sort of outcome at all because that fashion show at the end, although she butted heads with the producer, the producer is kind of like, right, but I also don't really feel like that was a, an ultra professional show. So I can see points that both of them has made, but like the way that Janice handled that was kind of so unprofessional. She could have just pulled out and been like, absolutely not. We're not doing this fashion show. If I was a producer and watched this show and was like, oh, I was maybe thinking about hiring Janice Dickinson's modeling for her models to model in my runway show, seeing the way that she behaved over any small disagreement, I would be like, absolutely not. We're not inviting that energy into the studio. No, no, no. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you guys think about what we've seen today, because that that was a lot. I'm a bit like... I feel all kind of strange. I absolutely, I think like Janice was just out of line in this episode in multiple different ways, actually. Let me know what you guys think, my loves. And I guess with that, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen here, my loves. Yes, you can. I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Katie Watson, Georgina Earnshaw, Smaug, and Doodlebug. Thank you so much for following me over on Patreon, you gorgeous... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining the Patreon, you absolutely stunning people. If you want to know the perks and the tiers available, check the little link in the description box below, and you too can support this Chanel, my loves. Thank you so much. Today's Twitch shout-out goes to Hello Honey Bee. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. Or should I say, stunning bee on the go. Well, that was a bit much, wasn't it? If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout-out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. And with that, I want to say a massive thank you to my top Top-tier Patreons. Aloria, Dr. Dreamarella, Laura, Elise, Stephanie Neotupski, Orcos Emoji, Andy Henry, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Mazel Morel, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paola Rivera, Princess Lillian, Rachel V. C. Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Stefutex, Succubus Lena, Sushi9393, Travafull, Tromo, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of don't cause so much drama in your place of work. The chances are you spend quite a good chunk of your time at your place of work. Everybody just kind of wants to get along. Just try and make your life a little bit easier. I know it's difficult sometimes having to deal with certain types of people, but like... Maybe they can take this advice as well. <laughs> and with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video.